Hello, my beautiful Gemini friends. I'm Lachan Devi with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your May 2019 Love and Romance reading. As always, I would like to say thank you to all of those who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share. Thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support from you all. To book a private reading with me, check out my website, powerlifehypnosis.com, or you can also book a reading with me right now directly through the description box below. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, I am running a special on the Instant Go app, 1111 per question. So go ahead and check out that link in the description box below. Send me a message. I will respond within 24 hours. Also, I do have a new Instagram in which I'm posting weekly weekend fortunes and additional messages and additional guidance. So go ahead and check out my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, Power Life Hypnosis. Once again, that link is in the description box. And if you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is, when, where, how you meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your partner, and more, as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with your future partner in your ideal relationship, book a future partner reading with me now through the description box below or again on my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. And of course, this is a general reading, so the messages may or may not resonate if they do not. Check your moon and rising sign videos as those messages may. You can also check your sun, moon, rising sign videos and your Venus as well as cross watch the reading for your romantic interest as well in order to gain additional messages as those readings may resonate so my lovely twins let's go ahead and get started on our reading here of course I have the overall theme of what is to be experienced I apologize for these messages getting out a little late of course everything comes in divine timing but um I apologize for this being a little later than usual um, nevertheless, I do have here the uh, overall theme and these messages and these readings are a little extended this month as well. This is just how the readings are coming out, how the messages are coming out. You know, I don't control how they come out. I'm just the channel of the messages. I have an additional spread for you as well that we're going to go into before our two predictions. And then I just got some new cards. So I have a few cards from that new deck. Then we're going to get into our guidance and our postcard from Sphere to wrap up this reading. So let's go ahead and get into this. So my level lovely twins regarding the energy here now I have something that is um, a little maybe not intense heavy it's all going to depend on where you fall because this is a general reading so this isn't going to resonate with everyone in the same way but I do see here that this may be a, um, what I just heard was transitory month. That's something that I just heard. Okay, so the first card that I have here is the card of, with the energy, deception. Okay, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So, regarding this deception, now this can range anywhere because this is the energy. This can range anywhere from perhaps someone being dishonest with their words, maybe the words not matching their actions maybe there's some discrepancy between what they say and what they do or maybe you have some kind of intuition picking up on maybe this person is not being truthful and being honest or this can even be regarding yourself and how you are viewing this relationship or viewing your feelings towards this person again this is a general reading so this is going to have a range of ways that this can manifest within your particular situation but we do have here some deception so i believe that now is a good time to think am i being honest with myself about how i feel about this person or my stance in this connection my stance in this relationship am i being completely honest with myself and with this person and if not then there may be some dishonesty on the other person's behalf. I also have here the card of codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. So this can be an addiction to a person, a place, or a thing. An addiction to a pattern. Okay? Maybe past histories of codependency may be affecting this situation. Now, let me go ahead and say this. Um, I'm on my last day of readings here. So throughout all the readings, each day... Codependency has come up, if not once, more than once. So this is an energy that it appears as though is being shared by many people of all signs. This is kind of a universal thing that many of us are going through. We are experiencing, we are transcending, we are addressing, we are looking into in order to move forward past. Nevertheless, it's most important to recognize this, recognize codependency, how this can be affecting our relationships or even our partners, how this could be 
creating challenges in order for us to once again transcend this and move forward so we can engage in better times ahead so we can achieve better times ahead we have to you know go through the storm in order to get to the other side so codependency appears as though this is something that many of us are addressing are you know um healing perhaps even during the month of may so please keep this in mind and as i have advice to others as well if you are not completely sure about codependency what that is how that can affect you or your relationships or how that may be affecting your life if you're not sure now would be a good time to go ahead and check out um other youtube channels check out other sources books literature you know check out the same thing but you know check out other resources in order to really understand how this may be negatively affecting the way you view relationships the way you approach relationships or even your partner or you know whatever information I'm sure that needs to come to you will find you you know as long as you make yourself open for that information and decide to say okay I'm gonna learn this I'm gonna look into this whatever information you need I'm sure you know will find its way to you but this might be something useful to understand to recognize to learn about to look into during the month of May so that moving forward this can be something that we can place in the past that you can place in the past in order to have your best days ahead now I also have here okay the card of new love but this card did come up in the reverse position saying a new person has sturdy romantic feelings Again, this card did come in the come up in the reverse position, so I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge that, um, take that into consideration. And I also have here the card of love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, to me, this is speaking of during the month of May. Say maybe some of you are having some kind of fear based um, thinking, or you know maybe want to um, slide back into old patterns or, or familiar patterns, or maybe some of you are thinking, okay, the best thing for me to do is to move forward and find someone else that can love me or something like that. This is why this is saying to love yourself first, as opposed to go out and search for a new love, as opposed to go out and look for a new love or look for someone to love you. Now is the time to work on giving love to yourself engaging in self-love being your best self because again your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and the interesting thing is you know it, it's very common for um those of us who have experienced codependency like me you know like many others it's very common for those who have experienced codependency or those who know what that is like or those who find that familiar to instead of saying okay I'm going to work on loving myself I'm going to work on being my best self I'm gonna put more emphasis in myself my life what matters to me what makes me happy what brings me joy giving to myself in a, 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 um, in contrast rather what I'm trying to say is in contrast we may make that decision to say, okay, I'm going to look for somebody else. You know, I'm going to look for a new romance to make my life happy. I'm going to look for a new romance to make my life more meaningful. I'm going to look for another partner to bring me joy, to bring me happiness, to bring me this, to give me that. When really, this is an opportunity to give to ourselves. This is an opportunity to provide for ourselves so that we are not entering into romantic relationships in order to get something from someone or fill a void or to get love or to find healing in them so we can do that on our own for ourselves first which makes us a more again romantically attractive partner which makes us a better partner which aligns us with a better more fulfilling more deep you know a deeper love and romance okay because the more we love ourselves love yourself first the more we love ourselves the more we give to ourselves the better we treat ourselves the better a love we can give the better a love the better a relationship the better a connection we attract so again now may be time during the month of May to give to yourself first love yourself first versus putting emphasis on another person rather be the person that you've known or a new individual or seeking a new individual all right so we'll see more so how these energies play out as we continue forward with this reading let's go ahead and go into our first prediction so 
I'm sorry, not our first prediction, but our first spread here. So I do see that um, some of us may have had um, toxic relationships in the past. Maybe we're in a connection now where there's toxicity. This could be as a result of deception. This can be a result of codependency. Or it could be that the toxic patterns of the past Toxic energy that has not been transcended as of yet, up until this month, up until now, may be affecting us. This connection is unhealthy, drawn together out of need or habit, release it to be free. So this is kind of what we were speaking about before when it comes to the um, when it comes to the energy, right? We're talking about relationships that we enter into, partners that we seek out, people that we seek out out of need or habit. Again, now is the time to give to yourself first be your best self love yourself first you know elevate yourself live your best life be the best you can be okay and this can be a very beautiful opportunity is something i just heard a very beautiful opportunity to transcend to move forward from to align with something new past on the other side of toxic connections or toxic relationships and if we have been in or that is a normal pattern for us or that's, that is something that is known to us is, is well known to us or comfortable to us toxic relationships we must also recognize that this can be a form of self-deception this can be a deception we may be deceiving ourselves believing that challenges of relationship toxic relationship relationships um drawn together out of need or habit or challenges fighting not feeling fulfilled and happy you know thinking that this is normal or this is what we deserve or this is you know just how relationships are those can be a form of self-deception so if you're unsure of how self-deception is playing into this for you or deception in general is playing into this for you and that is a message that resonates with you that is a form of deception believing that being unhappy in relationships, being unhappy with others, you know, not being fulfilled or not putting ourselves first, any of these things, that is a form of self-deception self because sometimes we just don't know any better. You know, sometimes that's all we've experienced and we think that this is normal when it's not. So that may be a false self mask. So again, just take that deception as it resonates with you. So now I see here, okay. I see here that in the past, there has been some kind of third party energy affecting this relationship. Uh, a third energy disrupts your love and from a work, family, distraction, people, places, things, patterns. There has been some kind of third party energy that has been um, not allowing this romance, this connection to blossom. Um, as much as it could be, but you know, everything happens in divine ways and divine timing as it should be. God makes no mistakes. So things are just moving along as they should. And now we find ourselves here. So in the past, yes, there have been some third party energy. So it could be again, work, family, distraction, people, places, things, patterns, codependency that has been affecting this relationship not allowing it to blossom as fully as it could okay so right now you may be whenever watching this reading taking a chance okay this love may feel like you're rolling the dice like you are just hoping for the snake guys like you're just hoping for everything to work out you may be putting yourself out there okay and Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with taking a chance. Roll the dice. This game, this love is a game of chance. Playing for keeps is anyone's luck. Nothing's wrong with taking a chance. Nothing's wrong with being courageous. Nothing's wrong with putting yourself out there. Nothing's wrong with being vulnerable. These are things that are actually commended. It takes a strong person to do all these things. So right now, you may be rolling the dice, taking a chance, you know, wishing for the best. Um, and what I'm hearing is in spite of um, the unknown, in spite of not knowing how things will turn out, you know, following the direction of your heart, even not knowing how things will turn out, you're taking a chance in some way, regardless of what the individual action you are taking right now, whenever watching this or, you know, around this time, you may be finding yourself taking a chance when it comes to this connection and the outcome I do have. Hmm.
from here on out, we're going to like this reading, okay? So if you've had any fear here, fear not. Because from here on out, as I show this card, it's about to get good, all right, Gemini's? So taking this chance, let me just say this. And I am a um, Gemini Venus, so I'm in the Gemini Collective too, you know? So I'm here with you guys, okay? Take a chance. Take the chance, all right? Take the chance, you guys. But go in the direction of what your heart feels is right for you. If you're feeling as though something is painful, that may not be the direction of going. If you feel as though even if you are afraid, you want to take this chance, do it. You know, go in the direction of your heart. So we have the card of yes, and this is the um, future. So this is coming up. All right. So by you taking this chance, yes, I have here the, uh, the, the energy of he will be back. Trust and know he will return. So even though for some of you, there may be a, a readdressing of a connection. For some of you, you may have to look at codependency, toxic connections, deception, loving yourself first. For some of you, this may be the month to really focus on putting yourself first. So there may be, once again, what do we hear the word of um, transition? Transition, you know, whatever that means for you in this situation, for those of you who that resonates with. Even though we will have these transitions and things are changing, it's like, he will be back. Trust and know that things will return. You know, your self-respect. This is the ultimate, like, overall message that your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Being your best self. Loving yourself first. You know, learning how to love beyond fear-based thinking and worries or, you know, even if you've been challenged or burned or hurt before, you know, just moving in the direction of love and the best for all involved, all these things, you know, elevating yourself, being the best you, Gemini, that's going to, once again, make you more romantically attractive. So let's go ahead and go into our first prediction now that we know that overall we do have a positive outcome and you know i have the new love card here in reverse so this may be saying for many of you that the person that you are dealing with the person that you are involved with no matter what happens during this month you know it's like that looks like there's unfinished business here and like this situation is not just going to dissolve and disappear you know, for most of you, there's more to come, okay? More to come on the other side of addressing codependency, addressing self-deception, addressing loving the self first, or addressing, you know, this other person's deception, however that uh, resonates with you, okay? It's hot. All right, so it appears as though, yeah, there's this person, whoever you're dealing with, you know, the soul contract's not done. Um, there's more to come here. This isn't over, you know? So, all you can really do is continue to be your best self in the meantime, right? Which always is going to make you more romantically attractive. First prediction. First card. Uh, we have the key. snake coffin key snake coffin right okay so because this is a general reading of course we're going to get into um who this reading could be speaking of um the physical description the attributes of this person so of course please keep in mind because this is a general reading gemini's that these very particular these very specific messages that i'm going to provide some may resonate all may resonate, none may resonate. Um, some may even describe yourself. This is a general reading. It's for every Gemini in the world. So these very specific details that I'm going to provide, some or all of them, however this you know works out, may not resonate with you. If these details do not resonate with you at all, this does not mean that this reading is not for you. This just means that you are involved with someone who looks unique to this description. So please keep that in mind. And we will get into what this uh, signifies as an actual event as soon as we, you know, get these details out of the way. So let's talk about these very specific details of who this could be speaking of. Um, okay. 
because I already know and I'm already hearing as it's interesting as I'm looking at these cards I'm hearing other messages in my head which is leading to me to believe that yes this is going to resonate with maybe a small number of you these very specific details but again that does not mean that this reading is not for you but I'll also tell you the things that I'm hearing as well um, just because I'm gonna give you all the messages that I'm receiving right so I am First off, I'm going to say picking up a soulmate, you know, someone who may be a key person in your life or a key relationship. Now, I'm getting the signs of Aquarius, Taurus, mm, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn. Aquarius the strongest. Again, other than that, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Cap, Capricorn. Now, what I'm hearing, okay, um, or what I'm picking up first, I'll just tell you that first and then I'll get into what I see here is for some of you, this may be someone um, younger, um, darker skin, darker hair, darker eyes, okay? Younger than yourself, darker skin tone, tan, olive, um, darker hair, darker eyes. And, and I'm just, I'm, for some of you, I'm seeing like curly hair. Um, I just saw like curly hair like waves or something like that like curly hair like a shortcut curly hair So this is for guys um, Most likely for most curly hair like waves something like that. That's just what I saw And so what I'm getting here is um, I am seeing someone who is likely trim on the slim side This person may have some curves, but I'm seeing mostly um trim mostly thin maybe this person works out maybe this person is fit they may have strong legs a good stature lean i'm seeing a chiseled look about this person chiseled jaw and angular jaw mm, i'm seeing darker hair more likely darker hair for some of you this may be somebody who maybe has a um maybe something about the voice maybe distinct um this may be somebody who appears to be full of life and full of energy, perhaps because they work out or just that's just how they um, appear to be. Um, somebody who's slick, sophisticated, you know, good looking, um, attractive, um, suggestive. You know, this is like somebody who if they were to wear a shirt, the shirt would likely be unbuttoned rather than buttoned up all the way to the top. Maybe like some, un, un, you know, for males or even females, you know, but, you know, somebody who's maybe more likely to show off their skin than stay completely covered up and, and be um, um, shy about what they look like because they're like, I know I look good, you know, so somebody who looks good. Um, so maybe this person even has some kind of confidence. This person could be somebody who is... Um, maybe fashionable in their style um maybe it's not like an over the top kind of fashionable but you know fashionably casual kind of style again something about the legs mm, this can be somebody who um maybe bigger in stature than yourself for some of you this is going to be somebody older so that's the contrast that i'm picking up because i know for some of you and i'm feeling for some of you it may be somebody who's younger but at the same time i have to give you what i see in front of me as well because this is a general reading so it's for every um gemini so for some of you this could be somebody older somebody um and if this is somebody older it could be somebody who um has uh hair that is maybe white or gray or getting white or getting gray or balding or thinning or something like that mm, um the eyes again are either dark or deep set and if they are deep set they may be colored blue or gray okay so this is what i'm picking up here yeah tall slim attractive again could have some curves top curves bottom curves depending on the gender whatever however that you know matches that person or again these details can um match you as well so let's go back into these um these cards here regarding the actual event and what i can see here is Again, I'm seeing here a soulmate. So this is likely somebody that you've had a past life connection with. And please keep in mind that we have many soulmates that come into our lives. We can have like up to 81 soulmates. We have many soulmates that come in and out of our lives. Um, nevertheless, I do see a soulmate here or a key person, a key relationship, an important relationship here. And it looks like there is a solution. There is, um, you know, a, a, a yes outcome. So I do see 
This card to me, when I see it, signifies yes. So these two cards match is in that this says yes, he will return. Was it trust and believe he'll be back? Trust and know he will return. Same difference. Um, yes, so this person does look like they will be back into your life, or once again, as we spoke about, there is unfinished business here. You know, this person is gonna come back. And or you may come back to this person. Again, this is a general reading, so however that works out. So there does look like there is a solution. I'm absolutely, actually, absolutely, unequivocally seeing a positive outcome here and a very good solution to come. So even if this is the energy going on during the month of May, during the month of June, we may have something different. So of course, if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and subscribe so we can talk about this situation as it um, unfolds. Okay, so um, I do see here a solution, a positive outcome, all right? So it appears as though the solution to perhaps feeling betrayed, mm, some of you may be feeling um, with this uh, snake card betrayed, or yes, maybe some of you may have felt lied to or deceived. Um, you know, some of you... Just, mm, I'm not really picking up infidelity here. I mean, but we did have this triangle card, so I can't say that. So for some of you, there may have been some infidelity that has happened in the past. Um, we have to consider all outcomes as this is a general reading, as I keep saying, you know, anything is possible. So there could have been for maybe one or two of you. Now, this is something that you don't already know about. I'm picking, you know, this is likely something that you already know about if it's taking place. So I don't want, I'm, I, I'm not here to uh, put things into your mind or plant you know unhealthy seeds or anything if this is not something that you are already fully aware about and and know that this is happening then that message in particular of infidelity is not um for you so if there's been some kind of feeling betrayed or feeling lied to or you know feeling like somebody was deceptive um you know just feeling like there's been a disconnect a discrepancy whatever that is the solution during this month may be to in this connection um may be to you know take a break to once again love yourself first take care of yourself first put yourself first all right, because we don't want to repeat toxic patterns in relationship because that's never going to get us the happiness, the joy, the positive outcome that we see. We can, we have free will. We do have the free will to continue toxic patterns and to be in connections. And if we do that, we must also be accountable for our decisions, for our actions and realize that the reason why we're getting the same thing over and over again is because we keep making the same decisions. So we do have that option to continue toxic patterns, toxic relationships, but that's not what I'm here for. And that's not what you're here for coming to me. So if you're coming to me, if you're seeking me and my words, then we are moving forward towards our fulfillment, towards our best relationship possible to our best, you know, happiness and the best outcome that we can have. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. During this month, the best thing to do may be to take a break, to take a step back, to end this connection, to, again, look after yourself as your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You know, maybe not jump back into a new relationship. Maybe time to be happy on your own, work on yourself, being yourself first. You know, I always think about, you know, because um, there are people who oftentimes, you know, jump from relationship to relationship because they don't want to be by themselves. And if you don't want to be by yourself, why would another person want to be with you, especially for the long term? You know, so um, there may be an ending to come, you know, and it may be a temporary ending. There may be a break, but we do have to take that chance. We do have to roll the dice and we do have to move in the direction of what feels best for us, whatever that may be. All right. Take time to think about it. Okay. Take time to think about what you want, okay? One message that I'm hearing to say for some of you is sometimes in um, connections and relationships and, you know, um, for many of us, this is speaking towards women. This could be towards the men too, but I know that this is something that often happens to after, often women are programmed to believe or to think you know, or to follow in this direction is sometimes we may not consider ourselves first and we might um, really 
just take things as they come to us or like oh somebody's coming to us and they're for example you know just for an example somebody's coming to us and they're begging us for a relationship even though i have a bad feeling about this person you know i'm gonna go ahead and, and listen to this person without really putting ourselves first so we may just take what comes to us and act accordingly without really thinking about what is it that you feel intuitively what is it that you feel is best what is it that you think is best for you what is it that you want so now may be a good time to go ahead and take those things into consideration okay for those women be savvy this speaks of a savvy woman also so be savvy you know again put yourself first think about what's best for you and what's best for all involved really you know so that's what we got there all right let me kind of put these in a orderly way all right next um prediction let me go ahead and take a sip of water you guys okay now I like this because I have here a little child in the middle success and love success and love and rich good gentleman right so once again with these two cards here I can absolutely see an or a swift and good outcome for you no matter what transpires positive outcome coming luck solutions all right so this is an absolute thing that we are seeing here amongst kind of everything so we have the success and love card, which means what? Success and love, positive outcomes, love, you know, connection, um, soulmates, twin flames. We have here deep love, camaraderie, you know, everything is good. We're feeling good. We're feeling fulfilled, happy, whole, you know, safe, secure in a connection. This may come after a new beginning. I'm seeing here to get to this positive outcome and this success and love, there will have to be a new beginning here. Some of you may have to learn something also. So for some of you, it could be a need to learn about codependency, maybe a need to learn about how to put yourself first, okay? A need to learn how to love deeper and better in spite of our own fear-based thoughts or our own disbeliefs or our own, you know, things that we've been taught. Because what I'm hearing is, um, and of course, this is going to resonate for one or two of you because these are just the, the channel messages that I'm hearing. But what I do hear is, you know, some of us may have heard the things like, make sure that somebody loves you more than you love them. Or make sure that this and this and this happens. Or, you know, um, if somebody does this, you know, anything, once a cheater, always a cheater. You know, we just hear these things about love or it's best to do this and this and this. And sometimes these things are told to us out of good intention but it's also up to us to ascertain what it is that we think what it is that we feel how we view relationships on our own and sometimes the way we view relationships in order to have the highest level possible may be in contrast to things that we've been taught or told or learned or led to believe because of people who came before us who may have had their own fears or challenges or situations you know so it's really up to us and what we feel and what we want to do so we may have to look at things in a new way we may have to um there may be a new beginning in this connection okay but in order to attain the success in love something is going to have to become a new all right a new way of thinking um maybe this solution a solution um, comes about that is able to shift the situation there's going to be a new energy coming to this connection and again the ultimate outcome here is success and love is a positive outcome is you know love connection soulmates happiness fulfillment and a wonderful solution here okay a wonderful solution here 
Now, normally I don't do this and look at the numbers of this, but I'm just being guided to in this instance. So what I do see is, yes, there may be some kind of ending, ending of a cycle, ending of a connection, a break, something, you know, and it could be temporarily because I am seeing that there will be the ultimate, you know, outcome of, um, happiness and wholeness and wellness and, and, and fulfillment and joy, um, um, abundance of love and stability coming. All right. So stability coming. If you feel like you haven't had that. All right. So my friends, let's go ahead and go into our guidance. Now, this one okay don't be misled this is a new deck that i got so i have a couple cards from um, my new deck here for you first one is don't be misled don't be misled don't be misled by your fear-based thoughts don't be misled by your doubts all right watch out for any self-deception watch out for patterns thoughts you know ways of thinking of codependency hijacking your higher self your higher wisdom your higher intelligence okay now don't be misled because when fear speaks this is interesting because this is kind of what we were speaking of going the direction of your heart you know even if it's new even if it's a new direction you know even if you're taking a chance because when fear speaks it's always wrong when fear speaks it's always wrong. Well, fear speaks is always wrong unless being chased by wildebeests. So when fear speaks is always wrong unless being chased by wildebeests. That's what the card says. Their words, not mine. The universe's words, not mine. And when love speaks, it's always right and usually bouncy. So when fear speaks, it's always wrong unless being chased by wildebeests. When love speaks, it's always right and it's usually bouncy. Game on. Ooh, game on. The universe, take a chance. Take the chance, roll the dice. I'm getting chills. I'm feeling chill, a chill pattern down my um, right arm here. So you may have to give in some way. You may have to give more of yourself. You may have to put in some kind of effort. And by doing so, now I'm feeling chills go down my left arm, but it's interesting because it's starting with my shoulder and just like the top right here. It hasn't even gone past here yet. So it's like taking that chance, you know, um, game on. Doing this, it, it may bring, you know, it may not happen as quickly as you expect it to or want it to. We're human beings, we want everything to happen right away. So it may not happen as quickly as you want it to, at the same time, everything happens in divine timing and we must acknowledge that and we must also acknowledge that at times good things come to those who wait. When, what ends, I mean, what begins quickly, what starts quickly, ends quickly. Not always. Everything is possible. Nevertheless, traditionally or not traditionally, but oftentimes, you know, often enough, I'm sure many of you have seen this in your own life with your experiences or with things that you've observed, what begins it quickly ends quickly. So you may have to, um, again, take a chance give in a way that may cause fear maybe by loving yourself first and by continuing to love another however that resonates and the positive outcome may occur quickly i mean slowly i'm sorry but just understand that your desire is something better is coming to you as long as you take the steps okay your desire is something better is coming to you always recognize that the universe is bringing to you exactly what you want or something better and sometimes we may get wrapped up in our own 3d human earth-based thinking and that we want things to happen right away or we may not be able to fully trust in the universe you know nevertheless it's like there are universal laws at play here and our higher power has our best interest in mind your higher power has your best interest in mind and turn on your love light Sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy. Works for me, the universe. The universe loves you no matter what, you know? So sometimes the best way to remain sane is just keep an open heart, you know, keep an open heart. If your heart wants to be open, if you want to love, keep loving. Love heals all, 
The ability to love another can heal yourself, can heal ourselves. The ability to love another and loving another, giving another person our love can heal another person. So turn on your love light and just love. Love yourself first, of course, always. First and foremost, as your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first, but keep an open heart and continue to love, okay? Now, this is a card I'm being guided to first because these additional cards go together. So for some of you, it may be time to go. During this time, during this month, again, it's like, not to say that this is permanent, but just to say that maybe it's good to understand patterns of codependency or understand self-deception, understand the, the um, uh, habit, the practice, the practice of loving ourselves first. All right. Just saw 44, 40, I'm sorry, 40, 44 on the clock. Speaking of some angelic healing coming to you during this month, if you allow this process to unfold. OK, time to go. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same within the avenues of your life. See the beauty within each sunset of your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. So see the beauty of the sunsets. Know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Okay, so it's not that anything is ending. It's just that sometimes things have to change in order to be better for us. You know, something, if we're going down a path and it's not the best, we can just take an alternate route to get to where it is that we want and still reach our ultimate outcome. Endings are merely the starts of new beginnings which we spoke about before the need for a new beginning so endings are the starts of a new beginning so once you allow this ending or once you let go once you focus on yourself first this ending is going to bring success and love all right or this new beginning this ending bringing this new beginning is going to bring about this bring about success and love all right so know that this is just what's happening even if you cannot see it with your own eyes or even if you have doubts Endings are merely the start of a new beginning, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. Phase and cycle. So again, it's not like things are completely ending and dying. With every ending, there's a new beginning, okay? Now, I also have here the cards of relationship and Cupid. So... This love energy, I just saw 42, 22 on the clock. So yes, there's an angelic healing. There's stability coming to your relationships, okay? Maybe you have to make a decision. Maybe you have to bring balance, some deep balance into your life, okay? Relationship. Your primary relationship is with yourself. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. So to attract, heal, or balance. Ooh, we just spoke about balance. To attract here or balance a relationship and snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. So the better you feel, the more love in your heart, the more you know you are loved by your higher power, your angels, your spiritual support team, the more love in your heart, the more you can love. We cannot give away what we do not already have. If we do not love ourselves, if we do not put ourselves first, who else is going to want to put us first? Or who else is going to love us if we can't love ourselves? When we do not love ourselves, we attract others into our lives who cannot love themselves or who do, who do not love themselves as well. And they're going to reflect to us the same thing that we believe about ourselves. So let's know and understand and recognize the lovability that we, you know, have, the, 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 the love that we are, the love that we have, you know, how lovable we are. And that can only benefit us in the long run, 43, 44. So again, I'm seeing that angelic healing coming through learning, also through moving forward, okay? Cupid. We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious aspects. Spontaneously celebrate love in all its glorious aspects. So again, self-love, love from our higher power, you know, the ability to give love away. As opposed to just seeking it to be given to us. Because if we're just seeking love to be given to us, that represents, you know, us needing to give more love to ourselves, really. Okay. And that's no judgment. That's There's nothing bad about that. That's just something to recognize, okay? Because truly, in, in reality, 
We have everything that we need, 44, 44 on the clock, angelic healing all around, stability coming. We have everything that we need. Our higher power has provided us with everything that we need in any given moment, okay? So if we are feeling like we need something more, we need to take the time to give this to ourselves. And my lovely, lovely Geminis, what you've asked for, or I, what you've asked for is coming true. Okay, that's what is coming to my mind. What you've asked for is coming tr true, and your wish is granted. What you want is granted. It's coming to you. It's already happening in the grand scheme of things. You know, when the universe brings us things, brings us miracles, brings us beautiful, you know, situations, circumstances, people, there's so many things that have to happen in the background in order for this to manifest in our lives in the here and now. So understand that in the background, beyond your awareness and your perception, your wish has already been granted and things are already manifesting and moving forward for you. Things are already, seeds are already planted, you know, things are already sprouting and growing. People are already moving in that direction. Everything is already working out for your benefit, even if you can't see it. So again, continue to love yourself, be your best self, put yourself first, and therefore you'll be at the best place to love another and to have a romantic, fulfilling connection as these things unfold and are brought to you, okay? So our postcard from spirit, mm, last number here, 4606. So yes, there's stability. There's so much abundance, joy, fulfillment, happiness coming to you. And this is something that's coming from above because you're worth it. And it's about time. If you haven't had it, it's about time. Or if you have had it, it's about time you experience even more, right? Dearest Gemini, we have a secret for you. The more you think you know, the less you actually do. <laughs> so if you're willing to keep an open mind, you will avoid the, nor the narrow confines of know-it-all and open up to the unlimited potential that can only be discovered by the curious optimist, right? Curiosity, taking a chance, curiosity, allows you to discover new things, see the world from a different perspective and find answers to questions you might not even know you have. Right now, whatever's going on is important to know that you are not aware of all the aspects of it. You need to make an informed choice. Now I got chills coming all up. They started from my legs, up my back, down my arms. That's exactly what we've been speaking about. There's more here than meets the eye. So our main focus here, Gemini's, your main focus here is to love yourself first, be your best self, and things are going to unfold in a beautiful way because don't forget that you have this, okay? Don't forget that you have this. Don't forget, okay? Know that you have, well, that's success and love. Know that your wish is granted, okay? You have this solution, all right? <laughs> So again, right now, whatever's going on, it's important to know that you are not aware of all the aspects of it. You need to make an informed choice, all right? There's more here than Misa. I. Once again, there are things going on in the background. Exactly what we're speaking of. I love these uh, synchronicities here. You might be projecting. <laughs> Once again, right? These two cards, all right? You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true just because sometimes we don't know any better and it's not our fault, it's just our experiences, but life is about learning, right? We learn, we learn in life. So, so moving forward, your mantra can be, I don't know or that's interesting as you keep your mind and heart open to new experiences to new experiences and a richer existence overall i love this card um coming out in the end it's like this is a beautiful summary of everything that we've been speaking of all right all of us over here want you to be all that you can be. We are cheering for you. Can you hear us? We are cheering for you. Can you hear us? All right, my lovely uh, Gemini friends, these are the messages that I have for you for your love and romantic relationships for the month of May 2019. Again, I apologize for getting these messages out a little late, but of course, um, you know, you're going to... Uh, come across these messages in divine timing and everything is in divine timing. So I love you. Much love, much light to you. Hope I was able to provide you all with some useful guidance and messages. Go ahead and thumbs up, like this reading if the messages 
resonate, comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already so we can look back into this situation for the uh, mid-May readings. Sending you so much love, so much light to book a private reading with me. Go ahead and contact me either through my website, powerlifehypnosis.com, directly through the description box below. Or again, I am running a special on Instagram. I'm sorry, Instant Go this, um, this May. And you can also follow me on Instagram as well and on Facebook for additional messages. So thank you again. Sending you all so much love and so much light and wishing you all the best of luck. Turn on your heart light. Bye guys.